Hi, this is Bob Hughes with JD Squared, and the subject of this video is consumable group aliases. Now, there's another video out that describes um, consumer groups and how they are, are associated with their cutting tables. I suggest if you haven't watched that, you may want to watch it first. However, you can watch it after this one, but it may make things a little bit clearer for you. Um, anyway, what we're talking about consumable groups are the actual components that are um, installed onto the end of your torch. So all five of these individual parts, the shield, nozzle, electrode, we refer to as a consumable group. Now, if you once you select your material thickness, you know that you're going to select your consumable group. So you got mild steel, your thickness, your flat, and then over here you'll select the consumable group. In this particular 10 gauge, we have a choice of three options, fine cut, unshielded, fine cut, shielded, and, and shielded. Notice below the incompatible line, there is marking dimpling, and that's because it is incompatible with this cutting condition, but we're going to go ahead and select shielded. Notice that it's got 325 pierces on it, and that's because our software um, will record the pierce count. It will also record the arc on time. This is actually a PC program I'm looking at right here, so we've actually done no real cutting, so we don't have any arc on time. That's why it's showing zero for those who have noticed that. Then, with this particular set of consumables, you're going to pick your cutting process, your quality, and it will fill in from the cutting tables the number. Now, let's take a look at a scenario right here to where you have a set of 45 amp shielded consumables in on your torch, and you have been cutting away on mild steel. Remember that one had like 325 pierces on it, right? Now you decide you've got a job or something, and you want to cut some aluminum, which also uses 45 amp shield, the exact same consumables, but you really don't want to use the one with 325 pierces. You want to put a brand new set in. The issue is, though, that the other older set with the 325 pierces is still cutting like a champ in the mild steel. You don't really want to throw it away. Well, what we've done is we've given you a chance um, to save that money without throwing that set away. And what it is, it's called consumable aliases. Now, let's go over to um, Plasma Tech right here. Here's your consumable groups. And by group, we're referring here to the factory groups. So they 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 tell you that um, they'll supply a set of shielded with these five part numbers. There's the fine cut. These are the factory groups. Now you could add groups to it later, but what, that's the subject of another video. Now group aliases is what we're referring to whenever we pick here. We're not picking a, a group. We're picking an alias, and I will show you why. Under under aliases right here, we know that shielded we have 325 pierces right now. By the way, these four num these four names are identical to the the consumer groups, and that's because every time the software starts, it looks it gets all these names, then it looks here, and if they're not there, it puts them there. And what that does is that helps people out there who don't want to uh, they just want to use the factory names. They don't care. They'll throw nozzles away. So that's why we do that. Now let's just take a look at our scenario. We had our nozzle that had 325 pierces, but we want to put a brand new one in, exact same kind of nozzle. Well, the way we're going to do it, there's two ways it can be done, but we're going to do it um, the simple way. We're going to select the nozzle that was in there that we're cutting. Remember, 325 pierces? We're going to hit the copy button, then we're going to paste it. Here's our new nozzle right here. Now, we're going to zero out the... Um, pierce count because it's a brand new nozzle at this point in time we have we have um two two name nozzles that are based on the parent group shielded that's the important thing and that's what it got from the consumables over here now if you were just to hit new see how we'll say like here i don't know new new tip or something like that um now you could pick different fine cut shielded, et cetera, but in this case, we'll pick shielded. Once again, it's already got it set at zero. Now, if I go back here and I say, all right, let's pick our consumables. 
Notice we now have shielded one right there. We pick shielded one, we have zero pierces on it, you know. Um, so now we can go select our aluminum. We can select our thickness. And um, now if we come over here and tell we got a new tip, which remember that's going to have zero on it also. Shielded one will have zero. But if we decide, well, we'll go the old one, there's your 325 back. Now, what that means is that over here, you have three set of consumables are basically the same parent group. They're the same exact style. They just got different cut time on it. Once you've got a set that you're going to throw away, then all you need to do is select that row, hit the X button, and you've thrown it away. You know, um, And that's how you do that. Now, if you accidentally select one of these and hit throw away, it's not a big deal. Remember, just restart the program, and the program will repopulate it because it'll look here and say, oh, it's here, but it's not here. I'll repopulate it over. Anyway, that's everything you need to know about group aliases. You know what? Thank you for watching, and happy cutting.